So it's created by Diana Richardson over 20 years ago, and it's a kind of everyday tantra. And the central premise of the work is that male and female bodies are completely different in how they're designed. Mm. So they're complementary, which is the good news, because they can fit together, but they're actually equal but yet opposite forces. And this has uh, great implications for, in terms of readiness for sex. So male sexual energy is raised much more quickly, whereas female sexual energy takes a lot longer and, important to know, is raised through the breasts and not the genitals. So we want to say it's not about technique, it's not about goal orientation, and in fact, when you let go of the need for orgasm in sex, it opens up a kind of freedom and a wider range of possibilities. It helped me make sense, in hindsight, of some of my experience of making love with Tim where, you know, sometimes I'd feel a resistance and a, a kind of subtle pressure. And now I look back, I realise that I wasn't always ready mm. to make love on a deep level. And so one of the impacts, which I think has been to the delight of Tim, is that I, um, mm. I want to make love more and I initiate making love more. And for us as a couple, it feels like our, you know, certainly the attraction for me has increased, and I think it's the same for Tim. And, uh, and the bond between us and just mm. the depth of our, our love and harmony. Well, it might be that um, you've been in a, you're in a long relationship and uh, perhaps um, you've stopped making love or you make love quite infrequently. And what we've found is that um, this particular way of making love, which opens up much more into the realms of sensitivity, intimacy, and this new way of sexual connection, can really help to bring balance to the relationship again and open you to this new way of making love um, that is much more um, about creating intimacy together and very often when people are making love um, or in the sexual relationship it's that um, the, the, the depth of intimacy is what can become missing and longed for in couples. I think as well mm. that, that you know some other reasons couples might mm. um, come is that it may be that one of the the couple wants to make love more and the other one's mm. not so interested and it's become a source of tension. Um, it could be that a couple have come to a um, major life transition, for example, mm. retired, um, they might have had young children and got out, of, you know, kind of grown apart in some way mm. or um, what other reasons? It could just be actually things are quite good like they were between mm. us but we felt there was more, so it can be a kind of vast range of reasons. So the seven-day Making Love Retreat takes place in a really nice residential centre. Uh, there's great vegetarian food and lovely walks around. And so in a sense, there's that aspect of it being a holiday as well. Um, in the mornings, we... Uh, begin with dance and uh, meditations and that helps us to get into the body more and also in the mornings we have uh, we give a talk each day um, on a particular aspect of the work then in the afternoons uh, it's the time for couples to make love every afternoon and to bring into, weave into um, your lovemaking session um, some of what's been covered in the talks. And uh, just to say that uh, all the lovemaking is, is, takes place privately in your own room and there's, there's no public nudity within the workshop. 
I'd also like mm. to say that the making love time together is, is really the most important part mm. of the workshop. So everything else that we do around it is to help couples come more into their bodies, more into the present. We give them some new information and understanding. But you can talk mm. about things forever. It's the application and the personal experience mm. that they can then, you know, continually... Mm. Um, come back and reflect and maybe share, maybe mm. not. So, mm. yeah, it's a really important mm. part. There's something about the way that uh, we're all engaged in this particular exploration, all in our different ways, and um, it just really helps. So we would love couples to take a risk and come and join us on this seven-day transformational workshop.